Well, we don't want to talk about it, but we have to talk about it. So let's spend a couple minutes today talking about what to do immediately following a self-defense shooting. Now, I will acknowledge this is advice that I hope none of you ever, ever need. But if, God forbid, we have been involved in a lawful self-defense situation in which we've had to discharge our firearm, although this advice is not universal, that is, every case is on a case-by-case -case basis, it's based on unique sets of individual facts, in general, these are the things you need to know. The first thing immediately following the situation is, is number one, you need to assess the situation. Can you even remain at the scene or has the scene become so volatile that additional violence may be necessary? If you can remain at the scene, please do so. If you cannot, immediately uh, move yourself to a safer location, remain there and do number two. What is number two? Well, that is to call 911 immediately to report that you have been the victim of a crime. If this is a lawful self-defense shooting situation, then you in fact were the victim of a quite serious crime which you stopped through your use of lethal force. If aid is needed, number three, always either make sure that aid is provided to the victim and or render aid if possible. Once the victim has been dropped, essentially the threat now is over and there is nothing from an evidentiary standpoint wrong with providing aid. Fourth, and this is really important. When you're on the phone with 911, they are going to want to keep you on the phone and talk to you about every single thing in the world, including all the details of what just occurred. Do not do that. Do not do that. The only information that you need to provide 911 is your name, your date of birth, a description so that law enforcement can find you. Information that you were the victim of the crime, and if a weapon has been discharged, you need to notify 911 of that. If there is a victim which needs aid, you most definitely need to inform them of that. Beyond that, there is no other information that you are legally required to provide 911, and you are under no legal obligation to remain on the phone with 911. Please hang the phone up and wait for law enforcement to arrive. What do you do when law enforcement gets there because they are coming and they're coming in, for in force? Number one, immediately identify yourself. Keep your hands up. The weapon should have gone back into a holster if at all possible. If not, it should be in a safe and secure location in the exact condition it was at the time of the last discharge. Immediately identify yourself to law enforcement. Recognize that they will immediately want to disarm you. Please recognize that they've received a call from dispatch and you've been described as the shooter and the person laying on the ground has been described as the victim. When in reality, if this is a lawful self-defense shooting situation, you are the victim and the person laying on the ground is in fact the perpetrator. Recognize that that will need to be sorted out later and you will not be treated with kid gloves. You will likely be disarmed. Oh, you most definitely will be disarmed. You may also likely be taken into custody. Follow all commands as given by law enforcement and be taken into custody if necessary without any resistance or obstruction whatsoever. And finally, and most importantly, no matter how much good cop, bad cops being played with you, no matter how many times they advise you of your rights, you are to make no other statement to law enforcement other than, I'm sorry, I cannot and will not make any statement to you or any other member of law enforcement until I've had an opportunity to speak with my attorney. Now you understand the importance of having an attorney on call that you can call 24 hours a day. Listen, if you want to have a more detailed discussion about this, go ahead and visit us over at YouTube. I'm William Kirk. I'm the president of Washington Gun Law, and you've been watching Bullet Points.